Although every show has been wonderful for me, they haven't all been laughs. There have been tears and tenderness and, unfortunately, even pain. I was so angry at my husband. I went in one night and I opened his medicine chest. I think the man had killed himself four days before. And I said, you, what did you do to us? And I took everything because his medicine chest I was never allowed to go near. And he had used pills, as a matter of fact, too kill himself and I went into the medicine chest at four in the morning and took every jar of pills and smashed it on the floor right. of the bathroom and I thought I love my husband I miss my husband I was so angry it was like you son of a bitch you son of a bitch I was very secure in the fact that I knew my father loved me and that I I knew that he knew that I loved him tremendously all of the anger and all of the rage came flying out at my mother I mean I spent a year pointing fingers saying it's your fault was, 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 was your father the buffer? Was he the anchor when your mom was on the road? I mean, what was the huge loss? That, what was the was, biggest part of that? I was that? tremendously dependent on my father. My mother was my friend. My father was my parent. Exactly. But and he was the one who gave you the sense of independence, didn't he? No, I think my mother gave me a sense of independence. I get very upset <laughs> with this. <laughs> no, my mother... This is not easy no. stuff. No. My mother was my best friend. And the one I'd come to when I wanted, you know, advice or whatever, but when... Things got really bad. I went running to daddy. And did I was very much daddy's little girl in that way. Did you feel at all after his death that you had to protect your mother more? Or was it all resentment? Or I waged an all-out battle. Yeah, we had a, a very bad year. How, for the women mm -hmm. out there that are having bad years, not like, I got such a fool. Now I feel so bad. You shouldn't feel bad. That's why we to talk about it. But, but did uh, this not see you in a new, mature way, Joan? Did it not in some way have a silver lining that improved the relationship? I don't think my husband's suicide and the aftermath of it could, could improve the relationship. What it did, it made us come to terms with, um, do we want to be friends? Do we want to go back together? That was a tremendous thing, because we could have, after Edgar's, uh, I didn't know what happened, you know. Uh, after Edgar's suicide, uh, I, and we broke so completely. You really have to say, do I want to take the steps to go back to have the relationship again with my daughter? Or are we just going to drift away like two boats? You know, just we did for a while. And we did for a while. It's very, and we both had to come together. And we shouldn't add the sad note. Let me tell it's always, Yeah, go ahead. The first time out after all this, we went to Houston. Yes. And a couple oh. of fans came up to her, and the, nobody wanted to approach her. And they came up and they said what, how fans they were, what fans they were. And they were sorry about her husband. And she looked at them because she can't take sentiment. She turned to me and said, and this is my new husband. Oh. <laughs> and they just went. <laughs>